hello guys you're welcome back to my channel if today is the first time of stopping by you are most definitely welcome so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make agidi jollof if you love agidi jollof and you've been wondering how they make it please watch this video to see how to make it and guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you First, I'll have to steam my bones. This is not the strong bone, it's a soft one. I think they call it brisket bone or so. But you can use any protein of your choice. Okay, I proceeded to season my bones with my seasoning. You can use any seasoning of your choice. I use curry, thyme, onion, beef seasoning, salt, and curry. After I'm done, I'm going to stay, add some water, cover and allow that to cook for some minutes. Now, after about 10 to 15 minutes, I'll take out my bones and I'm going to transfer it to another pot. The reason why I'm removing my bones is because I want to filter my stock. You don't want all those particles in your agidi. You want your agidi to be so smooth. So now I'm going to filter the water into my buns in a hana pot. Now I'm going to be adding my stew. This is already cooked stew, well cooked stew. I mean your normal Sunday rice stew, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Now I will cover it and I will allow that to cook very well in our pot i'm going to transfer my pap this is white corn i use white corn to make the pap only white corn now i'm going to transfer some of them in my pot you're going to be mixing this pap with water just as you make your pap I added some water and I'm going to loosen it up before I start cooking it. Now I'm going to start mixing it on the fire. Don't stop mixing it. You're going to stir until it thickens. If it's too thick, please add water and continue stirring it. To avoid lungs so now i'm going to stir it if it's too thick add more water if you don't like it too thick add water if you like it thick leave it as it is because you're going to add the stew and the stew will also loosen it up when i'm done i'm going to check it with my cold water if it floats know that it's ready when i'm done i'll start scooping in my stew little by little i'm not adding the bones i'm only adding the stew you add and you stir until you get the right color you want now i'm going to be mixing it like so After I'm done stirring, I add the anna stew and I continue doing it until I'm done. This is the same process of making the white agidi. Instead of adding the stew, when you're done making the pap, you just transfer it to your leaf or your container and your white agidi is ready. You can use it to eat pepper soup or anything you like. After I'm done, I'm going to start transferring it to my leaf. You can use leaf, you can use your nylon, you can use container to wrap it. Now I'm going to add some of my agidi and add my bones and I'm going to top it up with some agidi to cover it. So now I'm going to fold it and I'm going to set it aside until I'm done with all of them. When I'm done wrapping them, I'll leave it to sit for some minutes. 
before I'll start uh, eating it. You don't want to leave it to become too cold before you eat it. After some minutes, I'm going to check it. Please, when you're wrapping your agidi, calm down and wrap it. Don't do it like the way I did it. So that it will come out very well. So now that I'm done and my agidi is ready. See how it's looking. It was so delicious. You can add more stew and enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.